When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Romans like to eat well, but they don't like touristic traps and spending a lot of money on average quality food. So if you like meat, come to Bistecchieria Ulivieri, the best meat for the best quality price. Price quality, it can't be beat. Bistecchieria Ulivieri can be found close to Giampino, which is the second airport of Rome. There's a combination of the father, Giancarlo, with the son Valerio and the mother. Son Valerio and the mother are the cooks. Giancarlo is the butcher, and his knowledge of meat and his cuts are prime. The place is made in the style of a butcher box. So you have the butcher right over there and the kitchen behind. A little bit of a street food kind of concept. This is Valerio. This is Giancarlo. And this has been in the fridge for 90 days. Just letting the blood seep out. All right, you guys ready for this experience? Salute. Salute. To a food coma. So today you guys are going to eat meat, which is basically raw. But you're not going to turn back. It's going to be amazing. How do you think this guy gets all his, his substance here, huh? This is muscles. Devi raccontare un minimo come che ci metti in queste salsicce. Parte Gabriele tu. Qui c'è tanta classe, tanta passione e tanta qualità. Budellino naturale, eh? The Italian version of picanha, raw and be beaten. They beat it so it's tender. You just take your fork like this, boys. Yes. You grab a slice like that. From the side, all the way. And then you just go in your mouth. That's raw. Nothing done to it, huh? Oh my god. I can eat kilos of this. It's so soft. I did, when I first came here, and they put raw meat like this in front of me, I was like, no, I can't do this. More cheese And then I tasted it, and I'm like, Coda. This is oxtail in red sauce, and that's that's tripe. for the for the VIP thing. Allora. Salsiccia de fegato. Liver sausage. This is salsiccia normale. Sale de beaglio. Normal sausage, just salt, pepper, and garlic. This is the neck of the pig. The neck, the neck of the pig. It's, it's seasoned. It's seasoned. The neck of the pig. Nemica, <laughs> nemica. Try this. No conservatives and no coloring. No. And Pure like this. He, he makes them like God knows in what mountain. Chris, try this one here. This one here. Try like this. Mamma mia. Ma me le salsicce vanno in pazzia. Le salsicce sono spettacolari. Bravo, bravo. Perché i lozzi abbiamo un po' come abbiamo cominciato. Non è che siamo bizzi. How's that flavor? Can't even express what's going on in your mouth, no? It's almost like a sausage pate. Fragrant. He'll never give you the, the ingredients that he puts in there. He does let you know there's pine nuts, there's raisins, a few spices like garlic and pepper, but there's something in there that he puts that. Like this one. Oh, Besides just the quality ingredients. The crust. Oh, and this is oxtail, <laughs> and that's tripe. Two typical yeah. Roman dishes, oxtail and tripe and red sauce is very Roman. What's this, mint? Yeah, uh -huh. it's mint. I love mint. All right, I gotta try some tripe. I love tripe. Si, sí, yo también. Yo, esto, it's... oxtail is one of my favorites. I'm this is the mama. Si? Mm. Well, that's right. It tastes like my grandmother's tripe. My grandmother used to make tripe like that. It's so good. Oh, this one. Raw sausage. That one is nice. It's a drug. It's a drug.
Raw sausage on bread. You ever tried the raw sausage? Never. Now this is the magic. No. It may almost impress you to see this much raw pork wait. on a piece of bread, but wait, wait. When it's this good, the quality, you have nothing to worry about. This is pumpkin flour, deep fried, yeah. in batter. How that? Cheese, anchovies, mortadella, and the flowers of the pumpkin inside there. Deep fried in batter. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, so far, what do you want to tell us? It's fresh, everything melts in your mouth, it's like, wow. Well, the taste, the taste of the Isn't meat. Isn't that the same thing you do to the This is, there's something. You're waiting for the steaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is, this is the real Kobe beef, he says. He says the Japanese can suck it. And he'll, he'll, he'll guarantee. A slap. This is a fuck. Is this one here? This one here. That's the cow you want. That's the real Kobe. That's the steak you shot just now. All right, right. No more pictures. Eat that shit. Come on. Right, right. Mania, mania. All right. Ninety days. Ninety days. <laughs> this is the same thing, but this is the ha the other half, right? This is the fillet. Exactly. But the Fiorentine, T-bone, fillet, no, contro fillet. All right, no, here goes. The real Kobe. Yes. The real Kobe beef right here. And he boys in the The flavor. It explodes in your mouth. And we're already at less than half a plate because the stuff is just prime. This here is the Kobe beef that has been processed for 90 days. 90 days. Look at the color of this stuff. Look at that. To think that that's, that's raw meat that just time. As time is the ingredient. Time is the only ingredient. Time is a real ingredient. So I'm telling you this. All the butchers in the world, the best ones, they use their finger. They put it inside the meat and they say, all right, I know this is good shit. <laughs> this fucker here, show the fucker. That guy, Giancarlo, right there. He uses a more sensible cylindric object. And I'm not going to tell you what that is. <laughs> so he knows best. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the cylindrical object to test the meat if it's good? I'm more sensible. I'm more sensible, okay. Cylindrical object. Typical Romans. Vulgar at their finest. But hey, we wouldn't have him any other way, right? We've eaten all this and we still haven't got to the steak, my friends. No, no, no. This is the we appetizer. Still haven't, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the appetizer. You haven't got into the steak. Yeah. That's, that's the, ma the hand of the master cutting that steak right there. Now he's got to break the bone. Maestro. Tanta roba. Meaning a lot of stuff. That cut. He doesn't. He just. He just cuts the bone with the saw. The saw is only for the bone. The the meat has to be cut with the knife because that's the most important part. And now you just got to cut that last bone. Watch how it is. Woo! 
See that fat in between? Tutto il grasso interno è quello buono. Ah, questa è la marezzatura che c'è all'interno. Questo è quello che fa la differenza. That's what makes a difference. That fat right there in the, in the middle. Vedi questo. That's what when you cook it or when you eat it, gives it the flavor. Però marezzata qua. This is the heart of a two kilo piece of meat. We've got the sides served. This is the heart right there. Three months, 90 days to get to this point. My All right. Heart is Let's get to the heart of it. <laughs> oh my God! Let me just look at it. Look Must at this. Do. All right. Looks. What beautiful. do you know about uh, it? Not the whole side. I mean, you know what I love about this? You want me to tell you what people don't know? Primitives, or back in the day, the Indians, or that's how they would fucking eat it. No, they don't. Oh, there was no grill. Like there was no shit. You would get, and then you would try pieces of a fucking animal, and they would eat it like that. And they're like, wow, this tastes good. Who came up after what? And where do you think the Indians got their strength? Run for miles, all that shit. We're ready for battle. <laughs> Let's see. That one, this is the one he's going to cook. This is the one he's going to cook. So after all this raw meat that we've had, this is the one he's going to cook for us. And after that, it's over. Over. So in conclusion from the night at Bisticcheria Olivieri, we had five bottles of Amarone, top quality wine. It was a lot of meat, enough to feed at least eight people. Ended up spending about 400 euros. So, it's a great deal. Head on down to Bisticcheria Olivieri and have yourself a good night of meat. See you all guys in the next episode. Ciao, ciao. Hope this brought a smile to your face. So here we have the bitters, which are made by them. Homemade. Water, sugar, and pure alcohol. This one is mint. And this one is bay leaf, also known as laurel, what Caesar used to put around his head as an, em em as an emperor. Come down to Valerio and try them. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao.